Welcome to watch introduction of the operation interface of 48 series of Charm High SMT machine. First we will enter the machine software main interface. Welcome to watch introduction of the operation interface of 48 series of Charm High SMT machine. New setup at the bottom means you can add a new file. Delete means to delete a file. Edit means to edit the selected file. Delete means to delete a file. You need to edit the file before loading it. Select the corresponding working file, and click edit to enter the file editing interface. Next we bring you an introduction to the component interface. First, I will introduce the meaning of the bottom toolbar. Add indicates the addition of a component. Insert indicates the insertion of a component. Delete delete the selected component. Represents a parameter for editing a component. This button indicates that two heads are mounted simultaneously. Add indicates the addition of a component. This key refers to the offset of a single file. This key saves the changed parameters. Click edit on the component interface to enter the component addition interface. This button indicates the component's number. Represents the head used for this component's serial number. Represents the stack number used for this component's. Represents the x-axis center coordinate where the component resides. Represents the center coordinate of the y-axis of the component. Represents the thickness of the component. Indicates the rotation angle of the component. Indicates the installation speed of the component. Indicates the bit number of a component. Indicates the residence time of component mounting. Click to indicate that the component is not mounted. Whether to use vacuum detection. Switch for visual detection. Serial number of jointed board. Add component. Click to see the position of the component. Click the coordinate position to calibrate the components. Calibration interface can be adjusted by adjusting the direction key to adjust the positioning. Diagonal positioning is used to improve the accuracy of positioning. Components can also be switched from one component to the next. Click save after positioning and click return if no saving is done. Next, we will introduce two material stacks. Next, we will introduce two material stacks. Enter the material stack interface. First introduce the meaning of the bottom toolbar for you. To add, to add, insert or remove from a stack. Refers to the modification of material stack. Click Modify Stack Number to modify the stack number of the material. 170 refers to conventional stacks, and 7185 refers to bulk trays and vibrating flyovers. 9199 refers to IC tray position. Import XY offsets of processed files. After you click Import Offset, this interface appears and you can select the file with the offset to import. When finished, click OK or Console if you do not save. Save the modified parameters. Next we'll enter the material stack editing interface, for you to introduce the meaning of each function in the material stack editing. Refers to the position number of the material stack. Refers to the current material stack mount head. Refers to the X, axis offset of the coordinate positioning stack. Refers to the Y axis offset of the coordinate positioning stack. Angle of compensation to all components of the current stack refers to the name of the material stack height setting of material taking refers to the name of the mat distance between two materials in a stack real stack contact time between section nozzle and material when taking material refers to the speed of pulling the material tape height of the component itself the exact value of component identification the running speed of the stack adjust component identification accuracy Click Visual Parameter Setting to enter the setting interface. To adjust the identification parameters, first click on the uplooking. Corresponding components, click on the binary image to clearly see the recognition situation. Adjust clarity by adjusting thresholds. Click OK to save after completion, and click Cancel if you do not save. Specifies the position of the material stack. Click the coordinates positioning to enter the calibration interface. Click Zoom Out and Enlarge to zoom in and out of the image. Click Settings to save after completion, and click Return if you do not save. Refers to the material stack does not mount. Vacuum Detection Switch. 
visual detection switch one head mounting at the same time the following will introduce the settings of IC tray for you enter the IC tray interface and click edit to enter the settings of IC tray indicates the bit number of the IC tray indicates the x-axis center point coordinates of the first component indicates the y-axis center point coordinates of the first component indicates the x-axis center point coordinates of the final component indicates the y-axis center point coordinates of the final component indicates the coordinate location editing of the first component indicates the coordinate position editing of the end component indicates the bit number that the component starts picking up indicates the number of component in the x-axis direction indicates the number of component in the y direction next i'll introduce you to the jointed board setup click jointed board to enter jointed board settings first introduced is the coordinate way of the jointed board indicates to add a jointed board delete a jointed board indicates that the edit selects the jointed board indicates switching jointed board mode save parameters of jointed boards now we will enter the coordinate mode of jointed board editing interface indicates the serial number of the jointed board indicates the x-axis offset of the plate indicates the rotation angle of the jointed board indicates the y offset of the jointed board the offset of the jointed board can be manually adjusted the offset of the jointed board can be manually adjusted next we will enter the display mode jointed board interface indicates that a jointed board in an array can be skipped indicates editing array jointed board indicates that you can create a new file making jointed board to be an entire board indicates switching to coordinate mode board saves the jointed boards parameters next we will enter the array mode of jointed boards editing interface indicates the x-axis spacing of the jointed board indicates the x-axis spacing of the jointed board indicates the number of boards on the x-axis of the jointed board indicates the y-axis spacing of the jointed board indicates the number of y-axis boards on the, the jointed board this key can measure generate the spacing. Next we will introduce you to PCB calibration. Here we will introduce the PCB calibration interface for you. This key imports the calibration reference point. Used to clear the compensation coefficient after calibration. This button is used to calibrate the PCB board. This button can be switched to mark point calibration. This button is used to save calibration parameters. Next we will conduct PCB calibration, click calibration, click plus to calibrate. After entering the calibration interface, use the arrow keys to move to the center of the specified component to complete calibration. Zoom button can enlarge the picture. L and H in the middle of the arrow keys can switch the moving speed of X and Y axes. Click set to save parameters after setting, and click return if you do not save. Next, I'll introduce you to the loading interface. After editing, click load to enter the loading interface. After entering the loading interface, you will be introduced to each function button. Represents the serial number of the current mounting component. Indicates the number of total jointed boards, or the serial number of the current jointed boards indicates the total number of components mounted are running currently indicates the number of pcb that have been mounted indicates the average speed of components mounted indicates the time that the components mounting has been running click to set the starting id number of ic tray click up looking camera image open click down looking working light on click pcb calibration vacuum detection switch click return back to the original point click a single decomposition action click the machine starts running click the machine stops running the introduction of the running interface is over thank you for watching